first I was considering doing like a pistol only run. Uh, I thought that might be fun. I don't know that that would be very practical in Stalker Mod. Oh. <sighs> home sweet home. It does feel good to be back. Welcome back. I am a friendly pest, and today I'm playing Into the Radius. This is the modern version of the game, the 2.62 or whatever. Uh, I have the Stalker mod on normal, enabled. Here we are. This is my first time checking out the new base. Uh, I'm playing this game on an Oculus Quest 2. Once again, able to use virtual desktop to stream it from my PC. Settings are ultra. And I've been playing the 1.0 version for the last probably four months. Uh, and there is a significant difference in visual clarity. I'm going to take a moment and just walk around and appreciate this. Uh, I've not been in the base since this update was added. So the Christmas tree is gone. they got some water standing. Like an oily residue on the surface of the water that looks amazing. Uh, the textures are super sharp. Everything looks really good. Everything looks really good. Uh, let's explore a little bit here. And then this is actually a brand new save. Uh, so we're starting a new save. We're starting Stalker Mod. Wow, this looks awesome. They did such a good job. The standing water is so convincing. It, it really looks great. Let's have a look in here. I don't have any other mods outside of the Stalker Mod right now because I think it's a fairly encompassing mod these days. Man, it feels good. It feels good to be back, and I can't believe the video clarity difference. Like, this looks amazing. So, uh, Stalker Mod has the store, which I'm happy to see. After my playthrough the Scavenger Mod, uh, I like to have the store these days. We're gonna get out there and we're gonna try to do the first mission today. Just got my Makarov and four magazines, a knife, some probes, a flashlight candy bar, regen, a little bit of extra ammo, one health syringe on my chest, and we're playing Stalker Mod, so it's probably not going to be super adequate to the task. Let's get out there and see. Make sure I accept the mission. I think it's going to be fun. This is going to be fun. So, first expedition, security level one. Uh, go out and find that. Uh, Watch a dinghy in the first zone. So here we are, back to square one. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. Uh, Stalker mod's no joke, and my Makarov's absolutely not up to the task. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just appreciate this for a moment. Um, so I'm starting Stalker mod, right? This I, I've done the first mission of Stalker mod four. But we're starting over. Uh, we're gonna go from here. I'm not committed to finishing it. Um, but I do want to live in this space for a while and enjoy this until it's not interesting for me anymore. Until it's not interesting for you guys anymore. I want to continue to play this game, continue to support this game, and then use my other days that I post in the week, my Monday and Wednesday slot, to experiment with other stuff and cover other games. But Into the Radius built my channel for what it is, um, and I feel like not only do I still enjoy this game, but I owe this game the attention that I'm going to give it. So let's go. Let's go. I know I've completed this game entirely three times. Plus I've spent countless hours just exploring. Uh, but I still love the loop. I still love the gameplay. I still love the atmosphere. 
It's 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 unmatched in many ways for what it does. So there's some more crap out here to collect, but we'll get out there and we'll just remember the pain of the stone mod. Okay, safety's off. Save real quick. Um, right there in the top. Resume. Uh, I didn't see the little save icon. We're going to assume it's saved. We're going to go. thing about the stalker mod is any mob can be in any zone, but it is supposed to be weighted for progression's sake. Looks like just a regular old fragment down there. Let's go up to the tower. Got everything cranked. We'll see how that runs. Attention. This is UNPSC emergency guidance recording L1-61. If you are listening to this, you are most likely suffering from one or more of the following conditions. A sense of displacement, disorientation, memory loss, ataxia, and visual auditory hallucinations. Please remain calm. You are experiencing the adverse effects of prolonged exposure to the Pechorisk radius. This recording was placed here by the UNPSC to guide affected personnel to safety. Inside this emergency cache, you will find a basic survival kit that will get you to the nearest research. There's a slight weightiness to the way things work in this version of the game. And I think some of that is to smooth out the movements. I have to acclimate to that again. It does, it does feel good, though. It does feel good. Tempted. Tempted to equip the chest light. There we go. Might actually need that today. Okay. So far... This is looking like a fairly safe run. We're just going to enjoy it. We're just going to enjoy this. We're going to enjoy Stalker Mod. We're going to enjoy this version of Radius. Uh, I'll also use this video series to just like talk about life and what's going on, etc. and so on. Um, this is going to be... This is going to be my escape game. Not necessarily the one that I am too concerned about the content that comes out of it. Rather, uh, the one I go to when I want time to think, if that makes sense. We've been doing a lot of knife throwing in 1.0. Let's try. Learn to save ammo. We've learned to save ammo. The harvester is supposed to be in this version of the game as well. In the stalker mod, rather. It supposedly has some new tricks, whatever that means. So, looking forward to seeing that. First, I was considering doing like a pistol only run. Uh, I thought that might be fun. I don't know that that would be very practical in stalker mod. Oh. <sighs> ah. 
home sweet home. It does feel good to be back. Nice, what do you fit? Sweet. Dovetail mount. That'd be nice. What? Uh, added some new stuff and things. Look at that. The kitchen knife. That's awesome. Did you guys get to watch the uh, Meta Games Showcase? We already found a gas mask. And we're killing it. What a great first run. Uh, largely uncontested. Great first run. Look at this. Yeah. We'll clean that up. Beautiful. What we got here? Oh, 9 by 18. Nice. What a great first day for our stalker mod run. The kitchen knife makes me happy in ways I didn't expect. Hollow soap, hollow scope attached to rail B, that's super cool. This is, this is an exceptional run. Let's see. I'm gonna have a lot of time just organizing all this crap. Like, stalker mod is super generous with the loot. Oh yeah, VSS. Nice. Unbelievable. This is awesome. Objective. What a great day. Look at all this crap. Yeah. Feels good to be back. <laughs> you startle me every time. Help me, please. That wasn't really me, just an image. I'm trapped somewhere terrible. I don't know where, just... But it's dark here, and I can't move. I'm... I'm so sick of this place, whatever it is. My name's Katya, by the way. I'm so glad I found you. Finally, I'm not alone. There's an armored commando out there. It looks like a commando. Let's just take it in for a minute. We'll see that... I mean, obviously, Stalker Mod's working based on the loot, based on the mobs. There's an armored fragment. So, it's a... Uh, it's gonna be tough out there. It's gonna be tough out there. Like, we were very lucky that's first run. Uh, there was very little resistance. This resistance akin to what you should see at this part of the game. But a very short distance out there is death. So, I have to keep that in mind. It would be nice to, uh, to find something with a little range immediately and take with me. I also don't think that the security levels matter in this version of the game with the Stalker mod. I think, I'll check, uh, I think you can just buy whatever you need. Uh, I got distracted. I brought up the game showcase, the meta game showcase. Let's go back to that. Uh... I watched the showcase finally. I did stop watching when it got to the part where they like trot out the influencers and they're gonna overreact to everything, right? I don't have any interest in that. The general disdain for such things. Um, but the show itself I thought was pretty good. 
Like there was a good handful of games that I'm very interested in. Um, and I'll try to make content for as much as possible. I know a lot of it, uh, a lot of it there, they want you to buy natively for Quest 2, but I think quite a bit is also available on PC. Let's check the hilltop for fun. Let's check the hilltop for fun. Um, and I'll try to get the PC versions both to take advantage of the new PC that I just built uh, and because it's easier for me to create content. Uh, otherwise, I actually like playing standalone games because they it seems like there's less fiddling. The latency on them is great. All the controls feel amazing. Uh, let's talk about the reveal of the of the Meta Quest 3, which I am super excited about. If that was available for pre-order today, I would have already pre-ordered one. Uh, the color pass-through mixed reality stuff, I think that like opens the door to some super cool experiences. Now, how long it takes for devs to actually create those experiences is another question, and a completely reasonable one. It's supposed to be. But the uh, slimmer form factor, the increase in power, the new pancake optics, the depth sensor, the color pass through, like, I'm very excited about the Quest 3. And the controllers are super interesting. If you notice, they don't have tracking rings. I think they do have infrared lights in the controller housing. They don't have the ring. And then when too many of them are covered, it relies more on some kind of AI algorithm to... We gotta go. Oh no, we gotta, we gotta go. Here, commando. Guess we wanna die on our first run, we gotta go. Okay. Hell yeah. Anyway, I think that headset's super exciting. We'll see what they do. I like that it looks like the Quest 2 is going to keep support for a while. It's also got some kind of upcoming software update that's going to increase its performance potential by 26% up to, uh, which is really impressive. I mean, a product that's three years old and it's getting a performance boost like that through a software update, that's some pretty incredible okay. stuff. We did it. We did it. Not flawless, but not bad. First trip out into Stalker Mod. Hoping that this money is enough that I'm able to, to get some gear to deal with those stronger mobs. Uh, the Makarov is great when you're fighting fragments, but armored commandos, not so much, not so much. Let's see, it's been a while. The first expedition, the light keeps going out all the day. There was an outage at the power station. Someone broke inside, destroyed the hardware. They didn't touch the locks though, which is kind of weird, and they stole this. A coil, was it? Mum's being grumpy because her department at the factory stalled. Okay, need to get a candle now. A daughter of the snow. The Daughter of the Snows is a page turner. Okay. We'll put all this stuff here. I feel... I feel good. This is such a huge graphical improvement. Uh, mechanically, this version of the game does feel better. Everything does work a little bit better. But honestly, the 1.0 version does not work poorly. So, it, it is nice to to have those upgrades but I'm surprised how well 1.0 held up good heal turn this bad boy in security level one I wonder if it'll force me to go to the stupid training ground before I can use the store doesn't look like it. Let's take a look. As you can see, nothing's locked. There's no security levels. Um, but the price of stuff's real high. I 
I don't know that I can afford anything. Doesn't look like it. Let's try to find pages of weapons here. They've added some guns that I've not used since I played this. Um, I probably will rely on stashes for my early weapons. I'd love to have an OC-33. Man, that thing's expensive. Um, the Makarov's worth 250 bucks. Everything else is worth an arm and a leg. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll just sell some junk real quick. I'm going to keep everything that might eventually be useful. For now, we'll sell those. Since accessories and stuff are so expensive, I think it makes sense to save those. We'll keep this thing here for a panic pistol. Um, the rest of the stuff, we'll keep the ammo and things. Um, we'll keep a flashlight for danger grass. We'll get rid of the other one. I think everything else I'm going to need. So it's a, a little game we haven't got to play in a while. But it's not much. <laughs> Do you have any idea uh, what you think that's worth? Do you have a guess? Do you have a number in your head? Let's, uh, let's sweeten the pot just a little. Okay, it's not going to be much. It's way more than I expected. Was that your number? Evidently, uh, evidently Stalkermon tweaks quite a few things. Nice. Okay, go put this stuff away. We're going to save that. Uh, come a day when we have something to use this stuff. And this crap's way too expensive to not to. So, they got rid of my table down here. Looks like they've moved it up here. I'll probably make this my cleaning station if this vice works. It does. We'll make this the cleaning station. We'll set it up eventually. Um... And then I will try to store and organize things in the in the little base. Feels good. Feels good. Alright, we'll keep spare knives and small travel accessories here. Uh I like to keep the smokes and food over here. And then we're gonna have to sort ammo and stuff. So probably clean this up to sell. Just pile things that I don't use yet in here. What are you? Nine by thirty-nine. Loose bullets are going to be a pain. 76239. So they're not even the same size. It's going to be okay. All three different sizes. We've got our own ammo that we're current, currently rolling. It'll be okay. It's going to take me a while to get settled in and put stuff where it needs to be. But we'll get there. Like I don't feel bad about it. And outside of that, we're squared away. We don't need 300 candy bars. Okay. Feels good. burn those eventually um, that'll work that'll work we have basic starter gear gonna have to have that repaired might opt to do that first uh, I might try to also install a mod so that this doesn't block vision yeah 
I was hoping that would be part of scavenger mod already. So, all right, let's wrap things up. Let's wrap things up. Look that burned just sitting there. Yeah, it did. We'll uh, we'll take this with us next time, and maybe I can get close enough to make it work. It's not the boomstick, but it's close. All right, let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Feels good. Feels good. Happy to be back. Uh, been all the way through this because I beat it once on vanilla. I beat it once on uh, stock scavenger mod rather, and then I played all the way through the 1.0 version. So now we're back. Now we're back in the stalker version. And it feels good. I don't feel I don't feel any burnout. I, I I felt some towards the end of my scavenger run. That was such a long series. I don't feel that now. Like my perspective has shifted. You know. I saw I saw something the other day. I was I was reading a book and there was this old master and this wasn't a fiction book. A martial arts thing, uh, and he would tell, he would repeat the same stories over and over to his student, and the student trained with him for some 25 years, and he would become bored at hearing the same stories again, and the master made comment that the same story will mean different things in your 20s than it does in your 30s, right? Uh, and while that's a pretty dramatic example of what I'm talking about, my perspective has changed on this game. Um, I'm not the same person I was at the end of the scavenger mod, and I'm here for different reasons, and it feels good, and the same story has more to tell from this new position, so I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys will join me through that. This will go up on Friday, but whenever you find this video, hopefully it finds you well. Hopefully you are spending your free time with the people you want to spend your free time with. Thank you for watching, thank you for supporting this tiny channel. Have a nice day.